we have the title sound and some black background to begin with. So on the side we have a pug which refers to articles within the magazine. And then whereas the real text has lists of artists, another difference is the fact that I've put the barcode at the top whereas the real text has put it down in the bottom right hand corner. Plus the prices are extremely different. Also the name of the artist, I have put it in the centre with plain text whereas the real text has put Jeremy Pinnell to the right of Brownie. And then next I've also continued the theme of the Stetson hat. which is often used to represent country music. I've also done this in my newer and final editing version. Although a similar thing for this has happened where I've also put the barcode at the top. And I've also continued the uh, idea of a free CD. Whereas with the new one, I've changed the position of the actor so that he is sitting to replicate the body positioning often used in country uh, music magazines to convey power and also I've used the same sort of idea where you've got the another pug with plus extra act artists performing I've also included um, a guitar to further intensify that this is a country music magazine. I've also included, as I've said before, the hat. I've made the text white and bold, as most country music magazines have white bold text for their titles. Unlike my first original track, which is smaller, both in font and size. And I've also, in my old text, used social media icons and again the free CD to appeal to my audience. I've also changed the background due to audience feedback, stating that a stage was a bit off, whereas I prefer a rural setting. 